So I started this vlog about two months ago now and for like the last just over two months I haven't been able to continue it which means I haven't been able to complete the moving. <laughs> so much has happened since the last vlog that you guys will have watched when I was in the Dolomites. We went on that trip which was insane um, and then I had a day in between that when we got back and going to Paris to go visit my granddad. And that trip ended up being super stressful. My mum and I actually had to take him to A&E but thankfully I think everything's okay now. He's just getting old, which is, you know, it's inevitable. It's just a sad reality, isn't it? My mum's actually coming up to visit me today. Um, so hopefully we'll get him on the phone at some point later on today or tomorrow. After that, I had loads of work on and then my boyfriend took me to Greece for my birthday. So there's been like basically three trips back to back, which I'm super grateful for. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Greece was unreal as well. And I really took that time to try and kind of switch off a little bit. I didn't vlog it. I took photos, but only because I wanted to. I did have a couple of work bits to do there, but nothing crazy, thankfully. And then since being back from Greece, my boyfriend, literally the day after we got back, so we stayed in London and the morning after, he had to go to like a casting kind of audition thing. And then I came back to Manchester and I've had a ton of work on since and I've just been feeling super overwhelmed. Um, boyfriend's been back and forth between Manchester and London for this casting for a shoot that he's now on because he got the main role which yay um, so he's gonna be in Portugal for like the next 12 days which is crazy I've just about finished up shooting all of my campaigns that I had deadlines for and I've literally told my manager girl I need some time off I'm feeling a little <laughs> overwhelmed I'm feeling a little stressed I'm on the verge of a, of a mentee B if I'm being honest, <laughs> um, I just need a bit of time off to focus on my personal life a little bit, just get stuff sorted because at the moment I just feel like with the work stuff, I'm either in paralysis where I, I know I need to do stuff but I just physically cannot make myself do it or I'm in the polar opposite mode where it's like all I can do is just work, 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 work and it's exhausting. And there's so much stuff in my personal life that I just need to sort out health wise, uh, I need to get tested for ADHD, I need to go to therapy, um, I need to get my teeth sorted. I've got two teeth in the back that are like rotting, so I think I need to get them pulled out. But I just, I haven't been able to pick up the camera properly for like the last two months. I'm literally on the verge of tears all the time and I don't know why. I just feel overwhelmed. <laughs> Basically, where I don't even know where I was at. Since we got back from Greece, two of my girlfriends came over to visit from London for a couple of days, which was amazing and it makes me so happy and I miss them so much and I want, oh, I just, yeah. We got some piercings. I got a, oh, wrong side. I got my conch, no, yes, conch and like a flat surface piercing I don't know what you call it this one's gone wonky though but I think it's because I've been sleeping on it bad and then we had movers help us move like more of our stuff from the old flat and from storage here so that we can finally after two months of living here sort this place out so we've got a bed now and some bedside tables which is amazing but there's also just stuff everywhere which I'll show you having to work in this and live in it has been really, really difficult, but there's not been time or energy between me or my boyfriend to actually get it sorted, aside from building some of the cupboards in the spare bedroom. Literally, that's all we've been able to do. So yeah, I've asked my manager for some time off because I need it and I want it and I want to get this place sorted. I don't wanna live here for six months and then have six months left on the lease, potentially move after that and have not really lived here because this flat is incredible oh i keep i keep losing my train of thought this is this is the state of me right now i can't even think straight basically um so yeah this vlog is gonna be well i'll share the footage from two months ago when we first moved and i thought i was gonna vlog this whole thing before plans changed you know i'm not gonna say no to you know two holidays and go and see my granddad and all of that but yeah this vlog was kind of gonna be a continuation of that I hope you guys enjoy. I cannot wait to sort this place out. We came prepared this time.
my god. That's what happens when you can't move a bed around a room. That is disgusting. It's too small to get a hoover under. I don't even think it looks as bad on camera as Last night's journey, let's not talk about it, okay? What should have taken me maybe four hours took me about eight hours. But we're here now, I'm in Paris at my grandparents and my mum is actually just about to walk through the door. She's already been here for a few days to celebrate one of her oldest friend's birthdays. Now she's come to join me to spend some time with my granddad and just have a bit of fun in Paris. I have no idea what's on the cards, but I'm very excited. <laughs> Hello, mother, dear. Yeah. We're gonna head to the shops to get some bits, some food. On va acheter des croissants. On va acheter des croissants et du lait. Oh yeah. Du lait de soja ou d'avoine. And then who knows what the day holds. Let's be honest, guys. Nothing hits quite like a French supermarket. This cheeky lady has just sneakily taken me to it. She was like, oh, I'm gonna go look at the jewelry in the jewelry shop. Made me like look at everything. And then obviously I said what I liked and she sneakily bought me two pairs of earrings as an early birthday yeah. present, which is so nice. She's like, I never know what to buy you. So I got some cute ass earrings. Look at the size of this baby bow. Remember I've got big hands. It's huge. <laughs> so the tomatoes. Not escargot. Snails, anyone? Yes. Hello. It's been a cute day. We went to post something to a friend who lives in Italy. And yeah, we were just having a little bit of a stroll around. I got the new headband because my one was annoying me. And then we went into this like, I don't I think it's an independent store. I'm not really sure. I've been basically looking for a perfume for ages but i just can't seem to find anything that i really love but they had like a load of little perfumes there and i was like oh i'm just gonna give them a smell and i found one it was 42 euros which is not very expensive i think it's maybe like 35 pounds or something and it's by bon parfumeur paris this was made for me i'm obsessed it's so beautiful and it's small enough i think that i'll be able to carry it back because i did leave a little bit of space in my toiletries bag but i'm sure i can just like leave something behind to squeeze this in but it's so nice and it's so different from anything i smell Oh, it just smells so nice. To be honest, I'm pretty knackered. The Dolomites trip absolutely took it out of me. It was such an amazing trip, but it was really intense on our bodies because we did so much. So we've kind of had like a very chill, easy day today. I think maybe we'll do a bit of Paris going into the city center tomorrow. I'm gonna chill out for a bit, maybe do a bit of work. And I don't think I'm gonna film anything else today because I'm just really enjoying like spending time with my grandpa. It does feel really nice to see him. I haven't seen him in just over a year. Obviously last time I came here was, well, it was to see my grandma, but it was too late and then it was her funeral so it's nice to be back and to see my granddad yeah so i'm gonna spend some time with him and my mum i would very much encourage you guys to squeeze your loved ones when you still can because life is fleeting and you just never know what's gonna happen so i'm trying to take every opportunity to just be present and like see the people that i love when i can as much as i can i encourage you guys to do the same and on that note i will see you guys tomorrow 
Some furniture's arrived. To be honest, it kind of looks different than it did on the website, so I'm not really sure, but we can unpack it and see. But first, we need to clean. <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday the 14th of July. About two months into being in the new flat, we're finally getting the rest of our stuff moved over. Woo! We've been away quite a bit, <laughs> so we haven't had uh, a minute to be able to do this. So now that we're at home, we are getting it sorted finally. I'm so happy. So I'm currently just emptying the cupboards and stuff like that um, to get them moved over and we are actually having the same guy that moved me from london to manchester he's actually coming to help us with this because he did such a great job last time he's a little bit pricey but i just trust him to not damage my stuff and to take care of it properly so we're moving all the stuff out of here that's left over and then we're going to the storage unit and getting pretty much everything out of there as well so it's going to be a long few days maybe a week um just sorting the flat out i've also got quite a lot of work on as well so Stinks, isn't it? Stinks. <laughs> yeah, we walked into the flat and it just stinks. No idea what's going on there. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's fine. Anyway, we haven't got long till they get here, so I'm just gonna finish taking everything out and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I'm not really sure when. We just wanna get this done, but very exciting. <laughs> so weird how empty this storage unit is that could potentially be for the chair look it's so empty that's crazy whoop whoop finally we finally got pretty much everything from storage in the old flat in here just need to pick up some more clothes and stuff this is so weird we've got the big mirror here we'll probably move stuff around i'll show you downstairs now this is so crazy my old little desk chair that was in my bedroom is down there. Obviously it's not gonna stay there. Um, but we just wanted to move everything in and we'll deal with it over the next few days slash weeks as we also bring in like new bits of furniture, I think. Got all these boxes, the shoe boxes. We had to take apart the wardrobes in the end. So we're gonna have to rebuild those right there. Some old drawers from my flat in London, which we're just gonna use for now. My glass desk. Um, this is so weird. Oh, I can't even show you in the bathroom. I kind of can. In the bathroom. Can you guys see? Do you remember these drawers? Got those. Hey, doggery. Um, and then <laughs> more boxes. The bed frame. Oh, and these Alex drawers that every YouTuber had, the iconic Alex drawers. And that's basically everything because I have actually got rid of quite a lot of stuff since moving to Manchester which I'm super happy about and super proud of. And there's still so much more to get rid of as well. Like even clothes wise, they have put on like weight and muscle. There's loads of stuff that doesn't fit me anymore. A lot of it's really old. A lot of it just is really rubbish quality. So yeah, I'm super happy about this. We get started on this and get this flat looking spicy. Oh, we've also got the, the little swing chair that I had on my balcony in the flat in London. Not sure if we're gonna put that outside yet or if we're gonna keep it inside at the moment because it's so rainy right now, which is kind of sad. But yeah, pretty much everything is here. So I think we're gonna maybe get started on some of it. I've got a bit of work to do. Um, but once that's done, probably get started on some of this stuff, maybe build the bed so that we've got some storage because it's an ottoman bed, just to put some things in for now. Um, we definitely do wanna get a bigger bed, like a new bed frame at some point. Um, and we've brought the projector over, so maybe we'll have like a movie night tonight because we've got this whole big wall that we can project stuff on. So yeah, we're gonna get cracking and I'll update you as we go along. Barry and Honey. I know everything, like the sculptures in their home. Someone very close to them. 
his history is suggesting that he's involved in the murder. Oh, oh, one of the police. Need to sleep in. Need to have a snooze.